what is up everybody jordan here and today's video we're talking about it yet again we're talking about bitcoin so i just have a few topics to go over today we have bitcoin's growth over the past couple of years we have kevin o'leary who said bitcoin was garbage in 2019 said it was pretty worthless and that it was pretty much going to go to zero till today where he's saying he bought bitcoin he's buying bitcoin and he's backing bitcoin um, and also we have how much you should own a Bitcoin to put you in the top 1%. Now I have been making a lot of videos about Bitcoin because honestly, I'm starting to wake up to it. I'm starting to become more and more bullish. Uh, follow my Twitter. I pretty much post almost daily, but I've been posting a lot about Bitcoin, just retweeting stuff about Bitcoin because I see where it's going. We're in super early. You know, everybody looking at the price is saying, oh, $50,000, that's a lot of money. But if you look at it from where it'll be 10 years from now, I think we are super early. And that is why I'm trying to make more content about it. I want you guys to be informed in the year 2021 of what Bitcoin was. And so you guys could have the opportunity to buy in. So as you guys know me, I am a pretty heavy long-term investor started out investing in dividend stocks and slowly transitioned to Tesla, still buy dividend stocks. Um, but Tesla was a long-term play. I plan to hold them for at least 10 years. And I didn't really see any other opportunities in the market until I stumbled upon Bitcoin. And I've been just going crazy. I've been uh, looking at Bitcoin since April of 2020. So almost a year I've been buying since then and uh, still buying till this day. But with Bitcoin, to me, I just see a huge fundamental like rewrite of our monetary infrastructure. So everything that we're gonna be doing, everything that we pay for, you know, is denominated in US dollars. You know, you pay for a house in USD, buy a car, buy Starbucks, buy Chipotle, but we're gonna switch to Bitcoin, I see, in the next 10 years. And I think the people that you know, adopt this technology early will be rewarded immensely in the long run. So let's jump on in into this video. I just wanted to give you guys my background and understanding before we jump on in for people that are new to this channel or haven't watched any of my previous Bitcoin videos, but let's go on in. So here it is, Shark Tank, we're on the computer. Uh, Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary reverses stance on Bitcoin, says crypto is here to stay invest three percent of his portfolio so let's say what is kevin o'leary's net worth o'leary net worth i don't i think this dude's worth like a billion dollars uh okay so it says 400 million i thought it was worth more than that but three percent of that let's see what three percent of 400 million dollars is because i don't know what that is off the top of my head 12 million dollars so this dude put possibly 12 million dollars into bitcoin wow now that's not confirmed i'm not sure but he it says it right here three percent of his portfolio is in bitcoin um wow that is pretty crazy but look into this article i'll leave all the articles in the description below but it says I am fascinated. I'm investing. I'm holding a 3% weighting in it between Ethereum. Oh, so he's he's in Ethereum and Bitcoin. Ethereum, I'm still learning about it, but uh, Ethereum and Bitcoin, the volatility sickens me, but I'm getting used to it. Kevin O'Leary's a Bitcoin believer. That's cool. Mr. Shark Tank. Okay. And we're just going to go back in time a little bit. As you guys can see, this was May 14th of 2019. So what I was saying in the beginning of this video, whereas he was saying it was garbage back then. This is one of the articles that came out around that time. So Mr. Wonderful, Kevin O'Leary calls Bitcoin garbage in a takedown of the whole cryptocurrency industry. So this dude's a smart guy. You know, he's worth a lot of money, as you guys can see. And for him to come around and switch just it means a lot. You know, I think we're going to start to see a bunch of people just like him who were saying bitcoin was garbage bitcoin is so and so it wasn't it's gonna go to zero so people hey i'm starting to back bitcoin nowadays i'm starting to buy bitcoin that is what i think we're about to start seeing and that is why the price is going up because so many smart intellect people 
are figuring out Bitcoin and what it's doing, what it's trying to go after. And I think we're going to start to see more people like him where, you know, people are starting to learn about Bitcoin. These very, you know, smart people, people with a lot of money. Um, obviously, they have a lot of money for a reason. You know, they're pretty smart. They can figure stuff out on their own. And as you guys can see, Kevin O'Leary figured it out that uh, Bitcoin is here to stay, basically. So he put money into it. And that is why the price is going up is because people are starting to figure out. People are starting to become more bullish on it believing it more and figuring out that honestly at the end of the day it's pretty inevitable so i like to see stuff like this um just you know helps the story grow and grow kevin o'leary is a pretty you know he has a pretty big audience so a lot of the people that watch him maybe of the older crowd they don't you know know anything about bitcoin and for him to say you know i'm gonna start buying bitcoin maybe they'll That'll spark the interest in them. And then just the cycle continues. So this was a pretty positive catalyst for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin right now is at $49,000 uh, of the making of this video. So in a year from now, I'll probably look back on this and laugh because 49K is cheap. Okay, next up we have this. So I found this on Twitter. Like I said, I'm on Twitter pretty much daily, so go follow me on Twitter. I repost stuff. Um, I post stuff. My Twitter is JordanMiller910, so give your boy a follow, and I will keep you guys up to date. So it says here, Bitcoin's 10-year compounded annual growth rate, CAGR, is unmatched in financial history, literally. So we're going to take a look at this chart. So compounded annual growth rate just means literally throughout all the years, what is the average of the growth per year over 10 years? So golds is 1.97, so 2% for gold, eh, not the best. S&P 500, this is what a lot of investors put their money into. People that don't really wanna, you know, trade daily or whatever, or tr make trades or have to do research on companies, they just put their money into the S&P 500. Average investor, they get around 11% compounded annual growth rate. Pretty decent, average is about 10-9%. Uh, NASDAQ composite, 17%, pretty decent, pretty decent. Long dated US Treasury, 4.5%. Eh, haha, <laughs> Tesla, this is one of my favorites, 63.8. That is really good um, over the last 10 years. Amazon, of course, everybody knows Amazon, 33.5. So let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is wow it is way out of here way off this world way off this chart as you guys can see almost pushing a 200 percent annual compounded annual growth rate over the last 10 years so if you would have put your money into bitcoin in what 2011 and held it every year you'd be looking at around a 200 percent growth rate which is freaking insane and where do i see this over the next 10 years you might ask Mm, I see it more than 50%. Honestly, I think that's pretty conservative, but I see definitely over a 50% compounded annual growth rate. And I think that is on the conservative side. So you guys do your research. This is not financial advice, but I just want you guys to be aware of what's happening in this crazy world we live in. This channel is small, but it is growing. And for all the subscribers, I appreciate you. And this is my thanks to you so i want to give you guys this valuable knowledge so yeah i think it's going to be around 50 percent over the next 10 years just my two cents i'm just some guy on the internet though so yeah next little snippet we're going to talk about how much bitcoin should you hold hmm so it says here holding 0.28 bitcoin could put you in the top one percent wealth bracket someday i believe in that honestly um honestly you know, if Bitcoin does everything it's supposed to do and performs the way I personally think it will, I think it will definitely put you in that 1% bracket. And literally, as you guys can see, all you need to own is 0.28. That is pretty crazy. Um, how does that work? So Bitcoin, there are only 21 million coins. Literally, some have been lost. Some have been destroyed. 21 million coins so on this planet let's see what is the world's population so let's look up the world's population as you guys can see there are almost 8 billion of us 
7.8 to be exact. That is insane. Wow. It is estimated in the year 2023, there will be 8 billion of us little humans on this planet. And like I said, there's only 21 million coins. So if you guys do the math, not everybody's going to get a full Bitcoin. There are, if everybody were to get, you know, some Bitcoin, it would be 0. 0.000000, like 0. 0003 something, something crazy. So if you own, you know, do the math, 0. 0.28 you're taking a huge chunk of Bitcoin off the market for other humans to buy, basically. Um, that is what that means. And it one day could put you in the top 1%, which I, uh, I believe in. So, yeah, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy time we're living in. Uh, Bitcoin is here to stay, in my opinion. I think... It is honestly inevitable. Like the people, the institutions that are buying right now, you had Tesla just put 1.5 billion in it. Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy just put another billion into it. You have PayPal buying of basically 900 Bitcoin a day. Square buying Bitcoin every day. Grayscale owns like 40 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. So we're just we're starting to hit that inflection point of no return. Um, and we had had a pretty recent drop in the market in all markets, honestly. The stock market has went down a little bit from its recent highs, kind of cooled off. And the crypto market has done the same. Um, market went down a little bit. I think Bitcoin, let's see the lowest Bitcoin hit over the last couple of days. So over the last couple of days, I think Bitcoin hit around $44,000. And that's kind of where we bottomed out at. And now we're starting to head back up. Markets are starting to move back up. Um, Tesla stock, I think, is around 720. So slowly going back up. And I think we're, we're going to start running, at least with Bitcoin in particular. I think we might set a new record over this next month. We just got into a fresh new month. We're in March. Let's see what happens in the month of March. But I think this is going to be another crazy month, as you guys know the crazy world we live in. So... Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys some of this info. I know it was kind of all over the place, but the, the main topic was Bitcoin. I want to make more videos on Bitcoin um, as time goes on, as I start learning more about it. You know, I'm still still new to it, still learning about it. But from the knowledge that I know, I encourage you guys to look into it. Um, I'm going to leave in the description the documentary of kind of the early days of Bitcoin. It's called The Rise and Rise of Bitcoin. Great, phenomenal documentary. Highly encourage you guys to watch it. Worth your time because I think if you take in this knowledge and you apply this knowledge and you go out and invest or hold Bitcoin, I think, I think you will be rewarded in the long run. So with that being said, I don't wanna make this video too long. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Please share this video with somebody you think might find this helpful. That's all I ask you to do, my favor. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Bitcoin to the moon. Woo!